I am very uncomfortable with the energy that we've created in the studio today. Three, two, one, action. So hello everyone, it's Salvidi and I'm back for yet another video. Guys, it's true. Oh my god. Blair White and Shane Dawson. So she just did a video that is very telling and she made a lot of points that I do agree with yeah before the video starts with her you know coming right off the bat saying honey i have to be real with you guys i'm a little bit biased in this situation but i already have this platform and i have always promised that i'll be honest and transparent with you guys i do have very conflicted feelings on this and part of that is i don't want to say clouded but i guess clouded by my own history with this person on this platform and I love that she said that because that way when you're discerning what she's saying you're actually looking at it like okay I'm going into this but I'm also being observant with the words that comes out of her mouth and I love that so she played a clip you know of Shane talking about these behaviors he's had that he was he came out as being molested some time ago after going through therapy he had this repressed memory of molestation shane dawson claims that he was victimized as a child himself i don't and she's she feels that the therapy she went through was not fully effective and he has also you know said stuff about how he spanked other kids while he was like eight and the kids were like seven you know and he would tell them to take their subs off I'll, the clip i'll also play it for you guys to hear about it i also would molest kids on my street but oh i would molest kids on my street <laughs> um and that's another thing that they say that kids who are abused sexually abused do like i would like make kids on my street like take their pants off and i'd spank them or like do weird shit to them and it didn't feel weird at the time but looking back i'm like ew i was yeah. like kids i was well, a kid how, too you were they your peers yeah i was probably you know eight and they were seven or something right and i apologized to them i found them on facebook i'm like you sorry did? for molesting did you. they they're remember like, like one of them did one of them was like yeah that's why my family made me stop hanging out with you and i'm like oops but there is this saying hot people hot people i believe that if hot people hurt people sometimes you can change that narrative like if people hurt you when you were growing up why don't you be the better person and be the opposite like I did? I was like, honey, I was hurt growing up. Of course, I had to be the, I was like, just be the opposite. You know, it tends to, there is a way our brains develop. Some people's brain develop in a certain way and some people's brain develop in a certain way. I guess my survival instincts took over and said, bitch, you have, to, you have to do better. You have to do better. I always have this mindset of always doing better than your yesterday, always doing better than your yesterday, so your tomorrow is better than your yesterday. Maybe that's why I developed in my own way. And there's something she said that I do agree with, that when you've gone through molestation or growing up, that you get stuck with that age even if you're an adult that age gets stuck with you except you get treatments and all so i do agree with that i've heard that rumor before i've heard those words before so i can see where she's coming from regarding that situation now the, the clips yes of shane Dawson are definitely prob problematic i would i agree wholeheartedly with everyone and yes if now knowing that shane was molested molested at some point in his life huh can he and then there is a clip of him talking about his laptop that if his laptop is ever broken into they'll have a lot of incriminating evidence about him and i'm like okay hold on now what you guys oh my god so some of these clips of Shane include questionable statements about pedophilia. You guys have nightmares? What are they about? Mine are always about somebody breaking into my house and taking my computer. But then it always scares me because I'm like, if somebody stole my computer, you know how much blackmail they would have on me? I mean, the fact that I haven't been on to catch a predator yet is like a miracle. The more the clips come out, the more you you start, it's like you're about to pee yourself because you're like, oh my God, wait, hold on now. Wait, 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 wait. Like these are tendencies that you're like, huh, these are kind of symptoms of the P word. But then again, have we seen any, you know, evidence you know the justice system is all about evidence all the time like there has to be evidence until you hear the person has 
Ah oh boy. You're not guilty until proven guilty, right? You're innocent until proven guilty. That's one hell of a justice system. Anyway, I do feel she had a lot of points regarding as an adult i'm sure he's reformed now i'm hoping that he's reformed and she's not you can tell that she's now she she's not all on board with oh i'm on the shane train of support and she's she's now rethinking things and that's what an adult should do and that's what a match maturity involves you know looking at things from both ways not going into things blindly and i love that i had a very real conversation with my fiance and he asked me blair give me an honest answer do you think shane dawson is a my reaction was i don't think so and the fact that I wasn't able to confidently state, hell no, of course not. Like, why are you even asking me that is a problem. And I know that it is a lot to take in, and I don't know what's gonna come from this, but I feel there are certain things that I should probably elaborate on here because I know not everyone watches the entirety of YouTube videos, but I feel you probably should for this one. I just wanna say that I see everyone sending me messages asking me to address the Shane stuff, particularly the clip justifying pedophilia, etc. And I understand that it's something that I need to 100% address. I pride myself on being a loyal friend. But there's a certain point which betrays myself if I allow it to be perceived that I endorse that or condone that. And I really, really don't. Certain things can absolutely be explained away as humor and maybe in his head that was humor, but that one in particular and then the Willow Smith thing was like, dude. And I get it, I have a channel. Like, I attack people for predatory behavior way less severe than that, so it does look crazy on my part if I don't say that that was bad just because that is a friend, so I'm here to say that was really bad. You know, particularly the podcast clip, endorsing Peta, he kind of just went on and on, and it was really bad. And if the Smith family can't forgive him for the Willow Smith thing, I don't see why anyone else can explain it away as just funny or a joke. So I want to say that if you guys want me to do a video, I totally will. I'm highly, highly considering it because how can I not with the kind of channel that I have? But it's very painful to see that coming out about someone that I liked. Today's video was by no means easy. I am not a drama channel. That is not to shade drama channels, but that's really not what I do. But like I said, there comes a point where if you're gonna let me know about crimes and expect me to be silent, I'm, I just, I can't. I don't know if Jeffrey took me for someone who hears that kind of thing and is able to not take action, but I think normal people, when they hear about these things and are shown receipts of these things, they kind of have to act on it. I can't imagine keeping that in. I mean, I can't imagine I did keep it in for over a month, but it's made me sick and it came to this point and I don't regret what I said. What I said is 100% the truth in my experience and it is what it is. You know, I am resentful that I'm put in a position where I have to speak out about these things. I'd prefer not to. I'd prefer to not know what Jeffrey told me. I'd prefer to not have to condemn a friend for this stuff that's coming out, but here I am. You know, if I'm going to put up a clip of Peaches endorsing pedophilia or go into all the things Onision has done, big and small, that are predatory, obviously I can't be silent about this because if I do, then I might as well just delete my channel now, right? All this just sucks. So much. And today is not a good day for me. So, I'm kind of losing it because... I know I did the right thing in my heart, but it hurts so bad to speak a word against Shane Dawson because he's done so much for me. And if you would have told me a year ago I had to say any of the things I said about Shane, I wouldn't have believed it. But I have to stand by what I think is right and I have to lay my head down at night. And this is, people treat it like it's tea, but this is all very serious subject matters. Jeffrey is a demon, and I don't know what.
bad to think of Shane anymore. I don't have very many friends. I always joke about that, but it's for real. And there's nothing that puts a knife in my heart more than having to say a bad word about a friend, but... This video of her, of Blair White, is really telling and I was like, oh, I didn't even know about this clip. Oh, I didn't know about this clip, you know. So, looking at it, I was like, you guys, uh, it's true we all have our dirty laundries, but pedia should never be tolerated in any way or form. If there's such evidence of stuff like that, yeah, it, sh it, it should be taken care of real fast, real quick. So, oh, my God. Hurt people, hurt people. That's sad because now if he ever wants to go, for example, get married to his fiance and they go for an adoption, yeah, stuff like this, it should be, yeah, I don't think they'll be given the opportunity to adopt kids at this point. Yeah, there is no way in, in nope. And what do you guys think about all that is going on? It's, it's insane. This video from Blair White, oh, it's a video I never knew I, I, I needed, you know, because I already had these stuff in my heart, like, hmm, okay, why is this person acting this way? Why is this person doing things this way? And why is this person coming up this way, you know? But now looking at it, I'm like, yup, it makes a lot of sense. You, ha This person must have been molested and stuck. That's why. And now these repressed memories have come back. But in his book, they said that he didn't even say anything about molestation. But after therapy, these repressed memories came up and he started realizing, oh, shoot, that's true. <sighs> and there's also something I noticed. He actually apologized to them he found them on Facebook those kids he was eight and they were like seven and he had to apologize to all of them and some of them did remember and as a result their families told them not to interact with Shane any longer Whew. in a nutshell I would say everyone have their dirty laundries but some laundries honey whoo they are volcano honey and these are the type of laundries you're like what the fuck is going on you know this ain't no allegedly yeah if you, i will say this if you have player tendencies or symptoms honey you better hide that shit and throw it in the cliff like don't act on it it's don't act on it it's it's except is it as intoxicating as a drug that you have to even play there are things you don't joke about like molestation should not be joked about at all like no 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 honey ah oh, i oh. my honey you all just just go about your businesses that's what i was saying go about your businesses and take care of yourselves take care of your health take care of love each other as yourselves it will really help you guys do better in your lives that's that's the best advice I can give to anyone. Love your neighbor as yourself. It will help you be a better person. It will help you be a better person you see in the mirror every day. And that's just all I can say. It is. That's all I can say. I love you guys so much. You guys know that. And I cannot wait to see you guys soon in the next video. I know lately my videos have had this kind of... What's going on? I was like, guys... How you could tell that I was so, like, when I'm passionate, my voice is so weird to me. I'm like, wait, that's my voice when I'm passionate? Oh my God, I'm in trouble, honey. Yeah, I'm a very soft-spoken person, but this video has been making me, woo! Lord have mercy, honey. I love you guys so much, and I cannot wait to see you guys soon in the next video. I'm from South Video and Dove Side Studios. Please take good care of yourselves. I love you all. What I think is that it paints a picture of someone who has not properly addressed the trauma they experienced. When you experience something like that, it is so vital to seek help. But I still think about you all the time.